welcome to Low Carb Cocktails. If you've watched my most recent videos, you've seen a common theme, breakfast. So again, we'll be doing another cocktail that's gonna pair awesome with breakfast. So let's go ahead and get that started. This is called the Gin and Jam. And we're gonna go ahead and use your favorite gin. I'm not a fan of lemon dry. I'm just, I don't feel like I should be drinking a garden uh, that's covered in pine trees. So I do like the taste of juniper. That's uh, so why I would kind of tend to, tend to lean towards American style gins where it's not so punch in the face herbal that, that it's got other things in it, more of a kind of citrus, some things like that. Now, with the uh, Searsucker Gin, one of the other things is that they say it's a Southern style gin. Um, being here in the South, I'm gonna have to absolutely agree with that. Uh, it's just a really nice, smooth gin. Uh, uh, just, a, it's a great, great product. So if you guys, if you can find this, enough, they're not sponsoring us or any way, anything like that. But if guys, if y'all are watching, y'all think y'all might wanna sponsor me, hey, I'm pretty cool with that. But um, if you find a bottle of this, pick it up, try it out. Uh, if you do, go ahead and leave me a comment, tell me what you think about it. <clears throat> We're gonna go ahead and get this started. We're gonna go with two ounces of gin. Next, we're gonna go one ounce of lemon juice. Now, because we're using jam and there's gonna be carbs in jam, we'll be using bottle. Those fresh lemon juice is gonna have two grams of carbs. And we're gonna have two grams of carbs in our jam. So let's just go ahead and cut that down to the carbs only in the jam. We have two ounces of our gin, one ounce of our lemon juice. Next, we need a half ounce of simple syrup. So I think that's about all I have left. Let's find out. So this is my Splenda syrup. Uh, so that's my Splenda syrup. You know, it's gonna have you know half ounces and have half a gram of carbs. So so far we have a half a gram of carbs in our tin. Next, we're gonna go with the jam. We have the gin, so let's now go to the jam. You use one tablespoon of jam. Now, if you have a measuring spoon, go ahead and use a measuring spoon. Um, just because I want to be fancy like this, I'm gonna use a bar spoon. And I did measure my bar spoon that three bar spoons would give me a tablespoon. You can find this recipe across the internet with different ratios, things like that. Some of them will say build in the glass. Uh, I, I'm not really keen on that. I find that when I built it in the glass, you know, the flavors didn't blend very well together. There, there are different different levels, and um, you just nothing just was this as gin, then jam, and then lemon. Uh, nothing really blended well together. So we're gonna go ahead and do what I call. Shake the shit out of this. We got that the jam, which can be a little bit of gelatinized. If that's even a real word, I don't know. Leave a comment if it is or it isn't. Um, we have some of the fruit pulp, some of the seeds in here. So we're just gonna shake the hell out of this, get all that broken up, get as much of that incorporated into the cocktail as we can. So we're gonna, like I said, shake the shit out of it. We're gonna shake it a little bit longer than normal and a little more aggressively than normal to make sure that all gets incorporated well. Next, you want to get yourself a chilled vintage cocktail glass. And if you don't have one of these, Red Solo Cup will do. So we're going to have to double strain this because of the seeds and the pulp into our cocktail glass. Now, you find my strainer probably gonna clog a little bit. So just gonna scoop some of that out of the way. There you go. And next we'll just go ahead and garnish that with a strawberry. So there you have it, my friends. Breakfast cocktail, the gin and jam. Let's go ahead and see how this came out. I already know this is the third one I've had. Oh, is that delicious. The strawberry plays really, really well with the gin. Some of the other jams that I think will play well with it, I've done uh, blackberries with jam, I've done some apricot with jam. So, you know, whatever your favorite jam is, go ahead and use that. Just for me, 
My wife wanted strawberry, so I picked up strawberry, or really any, any sugar-free jam. So make sure you check sugar-free jam. I, I think it's uh, Welch's, they do a sugar-free jam, which I believe has three uh, net grams of carbs. This is the Great Value Walmart brand. This has two net carbs. It's gonna have four fibers. I'm sorry, it's gonna have four total carbs and uh, two fibers. Brings you down to two net carbs, plus a half ounce of our Splenda syrup, two and a half grams of carbs in this cocktail. All right, guys, thank y'all for watching. Go ahead and click subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. But if you give me a thumbs down, you gotta leave a comment and tell me why. Hey guys, y'all have a great day, because I know I will. Cheers.